Well, deeper into the plot. Come on, I want one of you to fight me now, damn it. I feel bored waiting for you two to just come at me and jump me already. Welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. This is your host, MJ406. And now we're in creepy space land again. Well, I guess that would only make sense because we're supposed to be heading our way to a uh, Soltis or whatever, right? I guess. But anyway, we're on our way to trying to stop Gaussian and uh, Ramirez after defeating Vigoro. So yay us, I guess. So let's see. Alright, here we go. Are we going to have a cutscene? Or am I just transitioning? Both! That works. This is amazing! Whoa. This does feel very Final Dungeon-y like. Oh god, there are the crystals! There they are! I knew it! Kill them! <laughs> so, you made this far. Gaussian! Ramirez! Well, we found them. Is it battle time? Or is Plaga to develop? What is that? That must be Zelos. Vice, that spear's a silver Gygus Zelos! What? That's the Gygus? Vice, look! The moon, the moon crystals! They're using the crystals to break the seal! As I expected they would be. <laughs> Once Zelos is freed, I shall control the greatest weapon of all time. I'll be able to call down the rains of destruction at will! <coughs> Sorry. And then, my rage shall begin. The six moons shall obey my commands. With Ramirez second in command? You may live long enough to see it. Then again, maybe not. Oh, so you just have a drone boss for us. Oh, hey, it's a second guardian. Well, what do you know? It's the thing that guarded the fir very first moon crystal we got. Which is just a moon crystal. So it's an upgrade version of this, huh? Interesting indeed. Okay. Well, I have my strategy in tow. Which is pretty obvious. <laughs> have buys do everything. Because why not? Oops, I guess I left you out of this too. Oh, he's silver, so only yellow will, will really hurt him. Well, it makes sense. I should have been able to tell by the color on them. Damn color palette swapping enemies. Fair enough. Let's see how much damage this does to you. I'm gambling he's not going to use magic this turn, so I'll have faith. Now, fear my breath. I better take this thing out quickly so I can get to Ramirez and Galcian. Now, fear my strength. Ah, all right. So you're a little stronger than I expected. Fair enough. But I have Fina, remember? Oh God, he's gonna do that super attack. Oh geez, that's his physical though, right? Probably. Almost forgot to do that again. Just in case, I'll do both of those things. Hmm. Let's try that just for the heck of it, I guess, because I got nothing else to do. Either way, if it's magic, I'll be safe. If it's a super strong physical attack, well, if a stats condition comes with it, or an adverse effect, rather, I'll be prepared for that, too. I forgot, Gilder doesn't have a lot of health. Maybe I should have grinded for him a little bit, just for his sake. Oh, well. Alright, I decided not to do it. I'll just have to do it another time if if it's necessary. Whoa. Either way, this won't work. But it's worth trying anyway. Yeah. Okay, now I'm at yellow. Maybe this will kill you. Maybe. I'm going to assume that going above 10,000 might actually be more than 10,000. It doesn't just hit a limit where I can't do any more damage. Let's find out. Fear me! Oh, it is a limit! You gotta be kidding me! That's such bullshit! Okay, so... Oh, God. Ha-ha! So you're gonna do instant death, were you? 
Ha ha ha! Thank goodness for the Aura of Denial. I had a feeling that he would do that shit. Do it again, just in case. Because now that he's down to his last breath, he'll probably keep trying to do that. So this is really useful. Damn. Oh, look at that, you're down already. Thanks to how fast my spirit points generate, I can just kill everything super quickly. Well, it sucks that now I know there's a damage limit. What the hell? So I just have to do a lot of damage. Can't kill him super quickly, but at least I can do a lot of pain. That'll work, I guess. Very good. You would have only disappointed me if you died. But you are too late. Of course. Well, it was a distraction. Yeah, I know that. I knew that. Oh, God. Don't tell me we have to battle this guy, I guess, now. Our toughest ship battle. And then again, the way this game keeps changing things up on me, I never know how things are going to turn out. He broke the seal! Who would have seen that coming? Zelos, I'm your master. Raise the lost continent of Soltis. From this day forth, Soltis shall be my castle. No, Ramirez, you don't want anything? Farewell, Air Pirates. This place shall become your grave. Oh, God. Well, looks like Soltis is rising after all. But apparently something's going to happen to us. I don't know what, but we got to get out of here. Guys, we've got to hurry. Zelos is raising Soltis. We have to get back to Dangrel Island. Then let's go. Damn it. We can't stay here! Please! Hurry! Damn! We are so close! Alright, everyone, go! Back to Dagrel Island! We almost had him, but that freaking guardian of theirs! Damn you, Ramirez, you dick! I handled him like he was a complete joke. But either way, what an annoyance! Dickhole. Why do you have these things blocking the center of the route? It's really annoying. <laughs> I guess that's the way they wanted it. Whatever. Soulvites have their own weird way of organizing things. Preparing paths and all that. Although having two side lanes is better than has having one giant center lane, I suppose. Separate traffic going two ways. Whatever, let's get the hell out of here. I don't have time to be dawdling. Also, Vigoro took the elevator from us. How the hell are we going to get out of here? Shit. Well, that's a bit of a difficult situation to figure out. Damn it, Vigoro trapped us here either way. What a clever bitch. Whatever, let's get the hell out of here. We'll have to figure it out from there. Gilder can probably still call his crew to come get him. Because I don't think mine's intelligent enough to fly the ship without me. Sadly, as sad as it may be, I don't see any signs of them flying that ship without me being on it. Only villains can do that. Damn it. I should have let my crew handle a little bit more. Oh no, the elevator's back. I guess Vigoro was courteous enough to bring it back down before he left. Good on him. Now, there's got to be some sort of control thing. That, ah, you almost went in, into it instead of on it. There's got to be some control they got have in mind in case you accidentally set the elevator and nobody's on it on the other side. Or else it's unretrievable. Vice, what's going on? I don't know. Damn it. This thing broke. It's bullshit. You've got to be kidding. I'm trying. I'm trying. Damn it. This sucks. It's no use. There's no power. So it died? I've got an idea! Both of you girls, strip! I'm kidding, let's just go. Vise? Vise? What do you think you're doing? We're just gonna run! Come on, let's go! Let's go? What do you mean, let's go? You... You don't mean... Yep. Come on, we're gonna exercise. Yes. We're gonna run up the rail. Hurry! I don't know how much longer it will hold. You're serious? 
Vice, um, some of us aren't as young as we used to be, you know. Well, do you have any other suggestions? Because they're going to kill us. Or this place is going to break down if we don't hurry up. See? We can see Saltis now. You really want to stay here and die? Be my guest. What's that? But with that coming, I'd rather run and get back to my ship for safety. Oh, yeah, that looks like the Lost Continent. Yep. Oh, great. The village plan succeeded. We lost. It's Sultus. Yep. Hurry. This railing isn't going to last much longer. Jump in my arms. Fina, Fina, you go first. Okay. I'll carry you. There we go. I got you. Come on, you two. Hurry up. Hey, you didn't slap Gilder down? Then again, he's not a goofball like Enrique was. <coughs> ah. Somebody's voice are killing me. Yep, this place falling apart. Don't tell me I have to run and avoid enemies. Run! Go, go, go! Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, God. How am I going to survive this? Okay, this looks a lot longer than I thought it would have been. I really have to do this? God damn it. Something tells me I won't make it. Maybe. Eh, I should be fine. Still, this is a little ridiculous. Well, as long as I keep running, I guess I'll be fine. I just want me to get the feeling of excitement. Yeah, see, we made it. I knew we'd be fine, you guys. That was too close. Boys, this way! Hurry! Well, yeah, let's hurry up and jump, damn it! Why are we standing on the rail when it's about to collapse? Oh, wow, now it's collapsing a lot faster. Oh, Gilder, are you hero? Hurry, boys, get off the rail! <clears throat> oh, God! Ah. Boys! Jump, you idiot! <laughs> Whoa! Please catch me! Somebody! Oh, damn! Oh, shit! Come on, now's not the time for that, you two. <laughs> ah, I'm kidding. Well, there it is. Soltis is coming to take over the entire freaking thing we were just on. Well, looks like the final battle might be upon us, supposedly. Meanwhile, back at my home island on Pirate Isle. <laughs> or whatever we call it. What the? Why is the ground shaking? Makes you wonder. I'm such a bigger pirate than my dad is now. He has no idea what the hell happens anymore in this life. Zappa, what is the meaning of this? I do not know. The winds are shifting. Something is very, very wrong. So now I can see all the citizens of the world getting ready for fear. Oh god, it's taking over Shrine Island! I knew there was more to that than met the eye the first time. What the? Ah, Drachma! He got caught up in it! Finally! <laughs> Gee, it's just him sailing ship around the incident. No, no need to get so worked up over it. Whoa! Holy crap! That place is huge! Well, it's just the landscape surrounding what's actually Saltis, which is still pretty freaking big. Wow! That thing is huge, though. Damn! Right under where Deep Sky came from. Wow. So, I guess Shrine Island's no longer accessible, huh? Glad I got things there when I did. Cause that would've really sucked otherwise. Or at least the underside, outside of it might be inaccessible. Well, either way. Hello, Soltis. Goodbye, humanity. I guess I have no choice but to go there, huh? Or at least check it out. Let's see what's up with this crazy freaking thing. But damn, is that thing huge. Ooh. And there's a bear preventing us from getting in. 
Well, looks like we have to find our way in somehow. And the Delphinus cannot pierce through. Damn! What's wrong? Why did we stop? I remember hearing about a Dome of Light. So, it keeps out everything. Dome of Light? Yes, it was an ancient defense mechanism. It was able to protect Soltis from the Gygus. Dalsian is using it to protect himself from us. Well, we've got to find a way through it. Damn. Damn, he, they were well prepared. <laughs> the Dome of Light is impenetrable. Not even the Delphinus can touch us. Ramirez, I believe the world needs a demonstration of our power. As you wish. Value could use a little rain. Silver Gygus, Zelos, obey my command. Call forth the rains of destruction from the Yellow Moon. Oh, so he's going to take down Valua now? Well, in a way, they're his biggest adversary. Since they're the only ones with power, and they're the ones that would know what he'd be up to. So, he's being smart. Is that... No. Well, looks like we get to see it firsthand just how destructive it is. No, not the laser! Wow. Ancient technology sure is beautiful, isn't it? Ah, now's not the time to be gawking about it. Shit's about to get, go down. Is it just going to destroy part of the Yellow Moon or something? Oh, dude. No way. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa. Wow, you can just feel the despair now. Feels like a storm is brewing. Hey, look at the moon. Is that an eclipse? Uh, no, that's just the moon shining brightly. The moon looks rather odd, wouldn't you say? Who cares about the moon? We're late for a party, and I simply look ravishing in my new dress. We're gonna die, bitch! Go back to the kitchen! Ho 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 ho! Wow, really? <laughs> oh! Hey! Your Majesty, perhaps you would be a be more comfortable sitting. Blazer, look! Look at the moon! Hmm. Is she escaping with him? Or are they... Or is he going to that prison like he was supposed to? I don't know. Good on her, I guess. But, oh shit! So it summons the moon's power to just wreck everything? Oh, there's the reins of destruction! There we go! Everybody run! Because you're all about to die horribly. Is that going to be the end of Empress Theodora? And Alfonso, that freaking douche? No, the people! Galcian! You worked so hard to create the civilization of these people, kind of. How could you do this? Well, they're screwed. Ha! Not like time has a meteor shower today! I should have gone on vacation like I planned! Hey! Calm down! Somebody's gotta protect me! You're on your own, Nipplis. I'm gonna get out of here! God! It's gonna be out of here, Nipplis! Nope, you're dead! Well, there goes the Valuant Empire! Galaxy took out our biggest adversary by becoming an even bigger one. Enrique, hold on! Don't worry about me! Just go! The Grand Fortress is still standing! We're trapped! Okay, you can only hope that the meteor shower will take it out. <gasps> oh god! Don't kill them off! No! No! Don't let them die! I need Enrique! Please don't kill him! Oh shit! You can only hope you get lucky! And that Grand Fortress goes down- Oh, there you go! Damn! Oh, shit! Oh, I hope they're not dead. That would suck. <laughs> no, not Enrique and Blaze, I guess. <laughs> Excellent! I have won! Now, all shall bow before me! The world is mine! Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> warning! Warning! My power is going to overload! I want to kill something! I want to kill them! They crashed, but I guess they're all right. Maybe? Prince Enrique? Uh, uh. 
Good, they survived somehow. Your, your Majesty, you're alive. Beleza. Oh, Beleza, I, I thank you. Thank you for saving my life. There's no need to thank me. It's a miracle that either of us is alive. Valua, what happened to Valua? Are the people all right? I highly doubt it. Beleza, Beleza, what happened? Please don't look. Please don't look. Don't look, you'll be terrified. Yup. What? All your people are dead. Thank you, Gaussian. You have caused a world war. Except there's no world to fight you back, so it's completely one-sided. You bastard. You know, I really can't wait to kill him now. No, it, it can't be. It's not real. It can't be real. Beleza, please. Please tell me this is just all oh, just a bad dream. Nope. Prince Enrique, I'm sorry. Damn. Just in an instant, the whole empire is destroyed. Alfonso is killed. Teodora was killed. Well. I I can't believe they, they actually used the reins of destruction. Fina! Vice, maybe we should head back to Crescent Isle and take a minute to regroup. We can't do anything to get into Solstice right now. You're right. I really hate to do this, but it looks like we have no choice but to just head home for now. Damn! Dude, this plot just keeps picking up like mad! Hmm. I wonder, though, should I go try to look for Enrique first? I kind of want to do that. So that's why you're not able to go back to Valua. You can go back to the ruins, though. Hmm. I kind of want to explore that right now. Let's do that, and then I guess we'll head towards Crescent Isle and end the episode there. Damn, though. So we got to see firsthand just how powerful that Gygus is. He can just straight up destroy continents. Just like that. Wow. That's quite impressive. Damn you. Ugh. I don't know who the last boss is amongst those two, but either way, I have to kill them both. Hmm. Can I do anything here, I wonder? I guess it's worth checking, maybe? Damn. This place is just straight up destroyed. There's nowhere for me to go, huh? At least not from what I could tell. I wonder if I could land anywhere. Would have been interesting, I guess. Unless the ruins are like down low for some reason. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Damn it. I just wanted to find Enrique and Beleza. That's all I should do for now. Let's go look for them. I doubt I'll find them, but I guess it's worth checking out. Hmm. Whoa. This place is just full of destruction. Holy crap. I'm impressed with this asshole. He really did a number on this place. Then again, when you have the power of a god, you can basically destroy everything you want. Okay, excuse me, but could you all get out of my way? I'm not trying to battle you guys right now, so I'd rather you all just burn in hell. Let me help you with that. There you go, are you satisfied? Are you helped? Hmm. Then again, maybe Beleza and Enrique are also heading towards Crescent Isle. I mean, it seems like they're my only allies I have. I just have to have faith at this point. Okay, so let me just go straight west from here. I mean east, east, east. I can't read. I'm really directionally challenged, apparently. I'm sorry. Whew. Damn. Now this game's getting depressing. A lot of death. Then again, well, when someone wants to control the world, they gotta kill everything in their way. And that's just how it goes. 
So we'll go back to Crescent Isle. I won't step on it as usual, but I'll end right outside of it. We'll just get to Crescent Isle. We'll think of our next plan from there. There it is, my beautiful home. Ah, sweet, sweet Crescent Isle. You're so much more peaceful than the rest of the world right now. So come back next time. And... Well, the only thing I can do is just hope I can come up with a plan of action. If Enrique comes, maybe we'll be able to come up with something together. But until then, I'm left without hope. And I'm wondering, what else is there for me to do?